Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. When it comes to climate change, people like to say that the science is settled because there's a 97% consensus by scientists. But do people really know what that means? Have people really looked at the data? I'd like to review one of the best known 97% consensus studies. It's by a couple of researchers called Doron and Zimmerman. And what they did is they surveyed about 12,000 Earth scientists, that would be like geologists, geochemists, people like that. And of the 12,000 database, they removed about 2,000 who were mostly administrative people, and they were left with a database of about 10,000 Earth scientists. So let's use this container of pellets as a representation. This is about 10,000 pellets. So of the 10,000 um, people that they chose for their survey, they sent out an online survey that had two opinion questions, so it was quite easy to answer it quickly. And they got about 3,000 replies. So this is about the number of replies that they got. And of those, there were a number of people who were self-selected as recently publishing on climate change. Now their actual qualifications are unknown, to us anyway, but that number was 79. 79 scientists who self-professed to be publishing on climate change. And of those 79 scientists, uh, of the survey questions, 76 agreed that temperatures have generally risen since pre-1800 levels. And 75 answered yes to the other question, and that's how they arrived at the 97%. Now the questions were two opinion questions. Uh, and generally in science, you want to ask empirical questions. You want to ask questions that are based on facts and data. But these were two opinion questions. So they got a 97% consensus from 79 scientists. Now, what's also interesting about this study is that it was based on the original MA thesis of Margaret Kendall Zimmerman called The Consensus on the Consensus. And she allowed for people to write back and email her and tell her what they thought. Well, quite a few scientists were upset and they wrote her and said that they were upset that it was not based on empirical questions and others about uh, 35 of them wrote back and said, well, it's actually the sun that drives climate change. The most interesting thing of the study is that at the end of it, Margaret Kendall Zimmerman herself wrote that she's actually more neutral on the subject of climate change because she felt she'd heard good arguments on both sides from those who had written into her. So it doesn't really sound to me like the science is settled, does it? For Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling. <laughs>